Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Ryan, Southern Card Collector. Uh, doing something a little bit different with this video. Uh, I've got some new equipment in, so picked up this uh, lapel mic off of Amazon. Um, so I wanted to see how that would do in improving the audio of the videos. And I got a light with a tripod that the camera is on now. Um, doesn't do too well with my glasses though. I can't even see you, I'm so blind. But it just creates these really weird rings on my glasses. You see, like looks like I have some freaky pupils going on, but um, just thought I would uh, kind of show you what's going on. Been working with the collection a little bit. This is not probably how it's gonna stay, but I found these uh, boxes I'll show you. Uh, they were just gonna be thrown away and then kind of got crazy uh, throwing the cards all around it. So it's kind of fun though. Uh, been been working with some of that. So I'll just kind of give you a little tour of kind of where I make the videos at and and my son's bedroom and uh, just show you the products that I bought put some uh, I'll put some links in the description so you can look at those products if you're interested so just thought maybe something that would improve the videos um, would be a good idea to throw that out there and uh, but just thought hey we'll do something a little different I right, guess so here is where I have um, a majority of my boxes laid out and cards laid out um, in my son's room so I had this cool shelf that a family member had built and was getting rid of so I got that so I've got some some shoe boxes and some some five row stuff that's probably completely mislabeled and then down here on the bottom I've got some binders like uh, like this is a Javi Lopez base binder here this, here we go this is like a Freddie Freeman base binder I've got some just braves and then back there's like some gypsy queen stuff there so yeah, so got a lot of that stuff kind of just stacked up in those areas. Found these drawers, like uh, these file, these card filing drawers. They're just going to be chunked. Uh, they actually stacked on each other like a pyramid. Worked out pretty good. So I've just kind of been throwing some of my Freeman collection around on it. Um, some cards I haven't even really shared on the channel, but it's like they're mag. You know, with the mags, they stuck to the cases because they're magnetic so I thought oh that's kind of cool but that's kind of where I keep most of that a lot of it's also kind of down here under the bed baseball cards I love baseball cards you got them got them need them got them got them got them need them got stuff thrown all over my son's bed so um, he's cool with that he has this awesome awesome Boba Fett clock though yeah that's sweet great shot kid that was one in a million so uh, here's here's where I shoot the videos here's the light that I just picked up with the tripod so that's worked pretty good. I think I'm gonna use that more for um, for shining on the card, so I think it works better that way. Um, I'm better off behind the camera than in front of it. And then you can see this is just an utter mess right now. Uh, things are just strode everywhere because I've been working on putting uh, my cards into some, some new uh, new bags and stuff over the mags to protect them. I'm trying to refile those in here. So I'm gonna put my Freeman cards in this lower one. I have my Javi Lopez collection in this one, and then I'm not sure what's gonna go in this top one yet. But anyway, so this is where I shoot the videos. Got my light box for taking pictures of the cards. You can see the uh, the All Star Game pictures that are in the background. Got my play mat that's down there below it. So uh, I'll link the uh, the website um, for the for the tripod and for the mic as well. Let you see those. Also got some had an order of uh, stuff from Pro Mold come in. So pretty cool. Got several uh, single screw stuff. Some different mag loaders. Top. Uh, Magnet cases, different sizes, 50.120, but this was really cool. They sent this with it too. I've never seen one of these. So as you can see, it's got like slotting for you to check your point on your card. So I've seen these like in a like on a card before, but I've never seen them like this. So you can kind of slide the card down in there and see what, what size fits. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so let's take a real quick look at this Pro Mold um, card point tool that they sent along with my package. I thought that was a nice uh, gesture. So you can see it runs from 20 point all the way up to 180 point card stock. And there's a slot that fits the size of the card. So I'm not sure what the best method is to try to, uh, to do this. Uh, I've tried laying it down on the table flat and just kind of laying the card in it. Or you can pick it up and, and kind of slide the card into the slot from the back. So this is a, um, a Topps Chrome card. As you can see, it fits perfectly well into the 20 point slot. So you know that a uh, 20 point magnet um, case would work really well for this one. So there you go. Now this is a, um, a uh, Allen & Ginner mini framed relic. So it's got the plastic framing around it. 
and you see it slides in pretty easily into the 50 point and they do slide in rather easily the idea is not to try to force the card in there and trying to decide the best way to do this without damaging the card I think that's the key with these I like this idea I think one of the, the deals with it is just trying to avoid damage so all right so let's try a little bit thicker stock card so this is an 80 point uh, like a Jersey relic card from leaf certified so it fits in rather easily and then so you can see the thickness of the cards increasing here's a nice uh, relic card so you can kind of lay it down flat and try to insert it or just kind of work it from the top down in so that one fits down in that 120 slot pretty well and here's a little bit thicker card um, an autograph card Freddie Freeman and it slots in pretty well in that 150 so nice you got enough room a little play in there for the for the mag and then the thickest card um, is the uh, 180 point from five star and you see it just slots in right there on the edge so there you go there's how this uh, pro mold uh, card point tool works I don't know some people may like it maybe not I uh, just worry about damaging your cards a little bit, but I thought it was pretty interesting. Thanks to Promold for sending that along with my package. I will link their website down in the description. And as always, if you collect, do it for the love of the hobby. See ya.